Hello and welcome back to another awesome episode on the official AE Racing YouTube channel. My name's Rob. And my name's Mike. Now, how hard can it be to build your first roll cage in a low cost chassis? You're about to find out. <laughs> Since man invented the wheel, he put four of them together and he raced his mates. Yeah, I mean, we've all seen the historical footage. Yeah, like the Flintstones. <laughs> exactly. Now, we're all big motorsport fans, and unfortunately, over the years, we've seen some big crashes that have seriously damaged the race car and the race car driver. And so, to prolong mine and Mike's racing careers, we're going to need a roll cage. Yeah, over, over the last 20 years or so, driver safety and vehicle safety has come a long way with the MSA, I mean, things like the halo from the Formula One cars, just lots of protection in there. We're gonna, we're gonna need it, <laughs> to say the least, but we're gonna show you how we throw ours together and keep it in line with the MSA regulations. Yeah, so let's grab the parts and uh, try and figure out how it all goes together. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The roll cage that we have bought comes as a kit, pre-cut. We've got to weld it all together once we figure out where it all goes. But we bought it from uh, Team Sellers Racing. They're, they're one of the guys that helped start the Mazda Low Cost Race Series. There's some stuff that we know that's quite easy, like this big hoop here goes on the back of these bits here. That's quite nice and easy. There's a front hoop that goes over there. Uh, we studied at least 10 minutes lots of pictures of the other low-cost cars. The main thing is it needs to be six point, I think is one of the main things. And then one of the other things is that from this, we're gonna have uh, some rear stays, which are sort of poked down into the corners like that. Uh, but the, the angle of this needs to be 30 degrees or no more than 30 degrees. Again, all these regulations are on the MS uh, Motorsport website or the blue book as they call it. When you get your, your license and stuff, you'll get all of that information. And it's all on the internet really available. But they're the regulations you need to adhere to. And even the regulations in the Mazda series then point you towards that and tell you which bits you need to make sure you've got. And that's the bits we're trying to make sure we're doing today so we don't mess it up. Don't skip leg day. <laughs> that is a big rule when it comes to working out. And with everything strong, you need a very strong foundation. That's where these come in. These are little bits of uh, square plate steel, and wherever the roll cage attaches to the chassis, one of these has to go just below it. So that if you are in an accident, God forbid, then all that impact energy will disperse lovely through there, and it keeps it nice and rigid. One other thing uh, that we've got to uh, got to do as well is actually notch out the end of the roll cage tubing so that they attach nice and snug together. Now, as you can see, all we've actually done is just tack it together at the moment so we can get it in the right place. We do actually know a guy, a good friend of AE Racing, who is going to probably ho hopefully give us some good advice, make sure we're, it's all in the right place and then we can weld it together properly once we know it's right. So we asked you earlier, how hard is it to attach a roll cage to a race car? Well, it turns out it is pretty hard. Yeah, we've spent most of the day, uh, we've basically welded, tack, not welded, tacked. We've loosely welded and tacked four <laughs> bits of metal together uh, and to the chassis. But it does look roll cage-ish. Yeah. And we've got more bits to do, we've got loads of bits to do. So we've still got to put bars down from here, down to the back, uh, one across there, and then one from here down to here, just to triangulate everything because triangle is the strongest shape. And there's also a whole driver's section over here, which you'll see on most low costs or some low costs, um, which we haven't really worked out yet. 
but hopefully we will. <laughs> yeah, we'll be getting back in touch with, uh, with TSR because they're, they're going to be helping us with a little bit of some pictures and stuff of where things go. Yeah. And then as, as Rob mentioned earlier, we've got a guy uh, who does this as a living. So he's going to come over, probably laugh at what we've done, point out everywhere we've done wrong, and then we'll redo the whole thing again <laughs> and, uh, and do it properly next time. So what we're going to do is we're going to make this a part one. And then obviously we're going to make the rest of it into a part two. So that should be coming hopefully not too far from now. But it's a good excuse for you to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like button as well if you enjoyed today's episode. And um, yeah, come back soon because part two will be coming soon hopefully. If yeah. Boris allows us to go free at any point. Yeah, and then we'll try and finish off the roll cage. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Cheers.